these cameras are getting amazing day by day, right? But we still need to polish our photos a bit before posting them online. So in this video, I'm sharing with you top five free photo editing apps, which you can download right now and start editing your photos. So let's go. So all the apps that you are going to see in this video, their links are down in the description. So you can just go ahead and download them. And starting from number five, we have this app called Beauty Plus. Uh, I think this is the perfect app for people who love taking selfies because whenever you open this app, you can just simply go into the camera. And then here we have so many options. We can just swipe and see all the filters that we want. I think this is looking nice. And then we can go into edit. And here we have so many options. On the left side, you can see these bars. These are for your adjustments. You can enhance your photo, but for that you have to pay some money to them. And you have different kind of blur effects. Then you have your basic things like crop, rotate, and then you have some frames, brightness, vignetting, contrast, clarity, saturation, etc. So your basic editing tools. And here we have an uh, option of retouching, which I think will be most preferred by uh, female users. So here we have the option of smoothing the skin, which the camera of this app already did a bit, but still you can adjust it. And then you have the option of selecting your skin tone. And then you have the option of resizing your head. You can make it smaller or larger. And then we have the option of reshaping your face. Here you can slim your chin or make it broader and here you can adjust the face width as well nice and then you have this option of removing the acne on your face but really after using the filters I cannot see any acne so I'll just leave it and then you have the options of brightening your eyes removing your dark circles and whitening your teeth a bit mm, yeah nice and shiny and then here you have the option of makeup which I'm not going to use so you can try this out uh, you have lipsticks eyebrows eyeshadows blush hair dyes so knock yourself out ladies and then we have these filters that we saw earlier using the camera itself if you want to change you can do that as well and the last option is adding stickers so if this is something that you like you can try this out as well so basically this app is for selfie lovers and obviously if you're not a photographer you still want to edit your photos so go for this one and especially if you are a girl or a lady or a boy who is into makeup and stuff knock yourself out so moving on to number four we have this app called wasco or visco or vsco i'm not gonna try to pronounce it right because i know i won't so let's move on so just open the photo that you want to edit select here and you will be treated by some filters and you can select whichever you want here it is showing for this photo recent favorites and all presets so we can check out all the presets that it offers and if you want to adjust the strength of it or warmth of the picture you can do that as well and after that you have the basic editing tools like exposure contrast adjust sharpen clarity and saturation and all and after that you have your recent page in which it will show the filters that you have applied and here you can select everything from preset tools and recipes recipes are basically those uh, edits that you have made and saved so that you can use the same edits on your next photo so that is also a nice filter to have now this app is actually very famous in uh, countries outside india but i don't think this is quite popular in india because it doesn't have a lot to offer Still, I would say that this is a very nice editing app which you can download and use for free. It does have some nice presets, so if you are lazy to edit your photos, you can just download this app and start right away. And on number 3, we have this app called PixArt. Now this one is quite interesting because it does offer a lot of features to you. And also you have a premium membership. If you want to apply for that, you can do that as well. But for free, you can use a lot of stuff. Uh, let me just show you here. So when you are in the editor, you can see the gold options which will be given to you when you agree to pay them more money. 
and next to that you have your tools options in which you have all the kind of tools that you can need to edit your photos and then we have effects which are basically presets and you can select from a variety and see which one works best for you and then you have this option of beauty in which you can select auto to automatically enhance your photos so again all the beauty filters that you need are here and then you have this option of stickers uh, here are some free stickers that you can add to your photos so if you want to create something artistically you can do that as well here and then you have this option of cutout where you can select it manually or just select here and select the option of person face hair head whatever you want here i'm selecting the person thing and it is giving us the option of refining the selection we are just going to delete this area and i think we are fine so now you have a cutout of your picture and you can save it as a png file and you can get really creative and try to create something out of it so it is all up to you and this also lets you add some text to your photos as well and then you can add another photo and frankly this app has a lot to offer which will take another whole video to cover so let's just end it here so i recommend this app to people who are a bit artistic while editing their photos and want to edit all those stickers and cut out their images and paste it on another background so you can try this app out but if you guys are serious about photo editing the next two apps that i'm going to show you are my favorites and the reason of them being first and second is simply because the second app uh, lightroom mobile comes with the option of getting a subscription to unlock two major features so that's why i'm keeping it on number two but without that it deserves the same spot as our number one editing app so after opening the app you simply just have to add your photo to the library and then they will show up here you can select the photo that you want to edit and in the line below you have all the features that you are going to need you won't get the selective and healing one until you pay for the premium membership but uh, you will get the crop profiles and auto and everything else that you can see here so we will start by cropping our photo into the ratio of 5 is to 4 which i do for all of my instagram posts you can fix the rotation here and i'll just quickly edit this photo and show it to you how it looks after the edit If you guys want to see a detailed tutorial about this app, I have already created a video in Hindi. You can just click here and check that out. And on number one, we have my favorite app, Google Snapseed, which you can use and get all the things that you want in one photo editing app. And frankly, this one is my favorite because the UI is just so beautiful. It is so simple and so easy to understand. And you don't get all those annoying ads that we just saw in those other apps. And using this app is actually quite simple. You just have to open your photo and you can see you have these options of looks which are basically presets so you can select some of them and see how they look on your photos they usually look good on some photos but still if you want to edit your photos yourself you have all the tools that you may need to edit your photos starting with tuning your image you can do everything from adjusting the brightness and the temperature and then even you have some very interesting features like expanding your photo changing its perspective adding some tonal contrast and if you have a portrait you can select this portrait option and that can work some wonders as well and after that you have this option of lens blurring basically i like this app because it is very simple to use and it lets you export the photos in their full quality 
So that is something which I as a photographer really cherish because I don't want to lose quality on my photos even if I'm editing on a smartphone. So yeah, I have made another whole 15 minute long dedicated video on this app. You can just click here and check that one out as well. So this was all for this video. I hope you guys like this one. You can check out all the apps. The links are there in the descriptions. So just go ahead, knock yourself out. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.